Hello and welcome to today's video. As you can see, I have everything uh, is now drilled and tapped and mounted to the the big heat sink here. The soon to be uh, power converter. Um, my original plan of having this cap over here, I ended up moving it. I didn't like the fact that I was going to have the high voltage section mixing with the low voltage section, so I've, I've moved it out. So I like this design better. I've got lots of room still so for the rest of the components, so I think we'll be okay there. Um, just got the uh, high voltage wiring to do, or high current wiring to do, uh, from the box of random uh, components here. Cables from various incarnations of battery packs that have been in my truck. Um, so, yeah, we might you know, just use some of these for you know, hooking up things and stuff like that. And, you know, coming off of uh, things. But uh, yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. We're going to have the um, power is going to come in over here. I think if you remember from the last video, this is the, the plate that goes on here, right? So a lot of those would be the input. Power will have uh, two of the uh, main black wire ground will come in here to this uh, bus bar. And oh, yeah, it, it's, these are on this little phenolic piece. It was a uh, used to be a um, one of these uh, uh, it was a uh, big current shunt that guy cut up but it had a nice um, holes already drilled in there countersunk holes so I ended up cutting the end off and that's what's holding these bus bars so they're not shorting out to the uh, to the um, uh, heat sink it's about half an inch thick which is fine for the 48 volts that it's going to be dealing with or 60 volts depending on what I do you can go up to 100 but uh, Probably keep it around 75 volts or so below that. But anyways, so yeah, uh, high power or yeah, high current uh, 48 volts is going to come in. 60, 70, whatever voltage we end up with will come in. It'll go to this terminal on the contactor, and then off of this will become the uh, this will be the main 48 volt uh, filter. You know, it has the bus for the filter cap here, and it'll come off of there. Go over to the inductor. The output of this inductor will go to the common point on this IGBT, so I have to make little cables. And then this uh, negative terminal here will actually be connected over here with a big fat cable. So I'll tie the negatives together. And then uh, out of here we'll have our negative. This will come out of the, uh, the converter. The other side is the high voltage positive. That'll come over to here. And then this will be the output. So you have your two high voltage coming out. Too high or too low voltage high current coming in. So that seems pretty simple. Uh, there's some room left here for a uh, big uh, uh, power resistor that I'm going to get, and then uh, we're also missing a uh, 48 volt DC to DC converter, 48 to 12. Um, there's a nice one on eBay. It was like I'm trying to think like 36 volts to 72 volt uh, to 12 volt at like four or five amps, but uh, I got outbid on it. So it was a Vicor. It was a nice Vicor one, but we could fit a whole brick under here if we needed to. So I'm not too worried about that. Just gotta stop being cheap and actually put in a decent bid. But uh, anyways, um, so that's that's pretty much what's going on with that. I'd also like to actually power it with a 12 volt battery, and then actually measure how much current we're drawing, and then I can better size the uh, um, what kind of uh, DC to DC converter I need. But um, yeah, other than that, uh, we got everything hooked up here. The gate driver is all installed, and the uh, DMOC adapter is installed. Uh, for the low voltage wiring or signal wiring, we already have this hooked up. You know that that plugs in over here. And uh, there's a little connector down here. The, you see, there's like a eight things. We've got a couple grounds, powers, and four I/O lines, and they're all five volt tolerant. So we're going to be using those. Uh, two of those can be mapped. They're peripheral pin. Well, they're all peripheral pin select uh, pins, which is nice on this microcontroller. I can map any function to them. So we'll be mapping the uh, high voltage or the high speed PWM engines to two of those pins, and that will go over here and run the um, IGBT drivers. And the fault lines uh, from here, the, the saturation detect lines, will come back to that same connector. And we'll map a couple of these pins to that, and that'll actually be the actual fault lines. Um, when a fault occurs, it'll actually shut down the PWM engines without any CPU intervention, and then you know, an interrupt gets generated, but you know, it takes time to get interrupted. It'll already all be shut down by the time I get into the interrupt routine. 
So that'll protect it from uh, short-circuited problems, which may in fact occur because um, when we hook something up to this, we don't know what it's going, you know, its state. It could be shorted out, especially since you don't, they don't, sometimes they're shorted internally, but the contactor hasn't closed yet. So when you power it up, you don't know if it's shorted without taking it apart. And a lot of times I don't take it apart. Hey, hey Milo, what you doing? It's kind of hanging out. What you doing? Yeah. You being good kitty? Yeah. <laughs> Supervising. He's probably mad because I've got the, uh, I've got uh, your um, chairs kind of filled up with some power cables, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Anyways, I think that's at the end for this video. I, I cut up all the bus bar and everything. Um, got some pieces left over. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's coming along. I took a bunch of pictures, but I haven't uploaded them to the website yet. I'll, um, I should probably do that. In the meantime, I have a, uh, BC3300 battery charger that I need to repair today. So I can ship it out Monday, hopefully. And, um... Yeah, so actually all of this stuff is going to get moved off the bench, and I'm going to do a repair. But anyways, this is supposed to be a quick update, but it ended up being pretty long. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.